Hi there, Julian here. By now you should already watch my previous video and know that I am a tech guru. So if you stay with me on this journey of the video, you will learn... Welcome to another episode of NOC Tech. We're gonna build five PCs and guess what's the price of all these five PCs? $21,000. So you might be wondering why we are building 5 PCs and that's because we are expanding the office. Why are we doing it? Because we are hiring new people and we are getting new editors. Why do we need new editors? Because we got a lot of shows. We got Food King, we got the Normal Sunday video, we got Do It For The Money, we got OTD, we got NLC Tech, we got NLC Plays, we got Style, we got NLC Challenge. Basically we got a lot. Huh? We are just going to build it. So the motherboard I chose is the Gigabyte Aros X390 Ultra. And the sole reason why I chose this was because of this little input right here is the USB Gen 3.2. Basically, it's for the front input USB Type C. Yes. CPU i9 9900K. I know a lot of y'all want to see the AMD processor. Honestly, it's sold out island wide. Gamers are hating on Intel because it's uh, not affordable. But really, reliability for video editing, Intel all the way. I'm not. A, I'm not a fanboy of anything. I think competition is good. It's because of AMD, Intel got better. If you think about it. Now what? Oh. Oh, 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 there you go, simple, 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 okay, okay, then you just have to put it below this screw, pop, ta-da, 4 times 16 gigabytes of RAM, this is uh, the build that Ryan has at his home and he swears that these specs are really good for Premiere Pro which is a video editing software that's why we have 64 gigs of RAM it's a bit overkill but yeah for the GPU I got the Zotac Gaming RTX 2080 Super pretty sexy if you ask me 970 EVO plus M.2 SSD for the OS and video editing software 3 times 4 terabyte of hard disk drive to power all of this is the Superflower LEDX 3 850 watts and the case for all 5 builds are the NZXT H710i the case utilities for the cable management of this case is pretty beautiful my first build might be messy once i learned the cable management for the case it's pretty easy to do for this case and in this case it's pretty easy all in all we took a total of eight hours to build five pcs considering that we had to shoot a video while building i would say we did this pretty quickly i expected a few complications to happen but to my surprise everything went super smooth and i'm actually proud of my crew and myself every part work and fit perfectly. Maybe it's because the experience I have over the years building PCs for NOC Tech that made this PC building experience so smooth. Alright, after two days, we set up four PCs. Why not five? Because we're gonna set up one more PC with the monitor and this monitor is pretty amazing. So Prism monitors behind are 30 inch. This one is 34 inch which is, you know, not, not too bad ultra wide uh, but we have a ultra ultra wide monitor i am not even kidding man 49 inch monitor <laughs> okay the box can be a bit misleading it's good but if, if it's if it's really this long longer than a freaking table that's why we are not putting the pc on the table because it's not gonna fit man okay one two three uh, i don't want it to like pump you know you know what i mean take the box out okay okay wow okay my god it's make it makes the 34 inch look like a child toy. Legit longer than the table. The monitor has a remote control. All right, so I actually haven't said what model are this. This is the Prism 3, X300. All oh, these three is X300. This is the X340 Pro. And this is the Prism X490. 49 inch, yes. 49 in 32 by nine. Expect ratio 31 by nine. 32 by 9 Honestly, I, I didn't check the specs We asked Pri Prism to help us with this build and they sent us this monitor So I have not really researched on what monitors are this uh, So special thanks to Prism Well, the thing is, it's not Ultra HD So it's basically like 324 by 1080 So it's not like crazy amount of pixels I think 4K still has more pixels Might be quite even So it's not very taxing on like a GPU or what 
It's less huge. So we're gonna use some Armageddon peripherals. They sent us this as well. Thank you so much, Armageddon. For this particular one, it's the MKO13R Enterprise. It's, it's a very nice design, very sleek. There's another model, which is a bit more lighter, plasticky. Yeah, but it's still pretty good. Still uh, got the tack, 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 tack. The other one is the MKA8C mouse we are using today. It's one of my most favorite mouse, Starship 3. Something cool is that you can do this. You can add weights, take out weights. Like gun, you know, you can take out hook. Yes. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Ace Combat 7. It's just a video of someone else playing, but holy crap. This is amazing. This video, I didn't go in detail in any of the products, but what I want to do is the next video, the next NOC tech, I want to get, get into more detailed stuff. So let me know what you want to know about. You want to know about this monitor, or even this monitor, or you want to know about the keyboard, or more of the PC. Do comment in the comment section below. We will be doing a poll on our YouTube, so just go and vote and let me know what you want to know about. But I think I have uh, learned quite a lot from this whole thing. What, what struggles do we have? Do we have any struggles? No, right? No, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm too good. We read the instruction manual, yeah. Uh, okay, la, a, a few difficulties. There is actually RGB for the CPU cooler, but it had extra cables and the cables um, will make the cable management very messy. You don't need RGB. It's actually, I think the RGB will cheapen the PC at how it looks. We didn't really care about aesthetics for this build. That's why it's very basic because we're gonna build, because we built five. So when, you know, if it's extra $50 for aesthetics, it's times five, it's an extra $250. Although it's already 4.2. I know it's above a lot of people's budget, but we are trying to do video editing builds, so it's a little bit more expensive. Lah. I mean, it could be even more expensive, but we brought it down to 4.2. So there we go, five PC builds, $21,000. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been two days, it's been long, and it's gonna take even longer because we're gonna, this is just a temporary setup. We're gonna set this up upstairs. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe. I'm very tired already. We're gonna, we're gonna close this up, install all the drivers, and then we are going to go, we can go set up the land shop. We can, one hour, $10. Huh, 2080. Super eh? you think what? We're gonna do two dollars? No, no, ten dollars. Who won? Who won? Limited time only. Ten dollars an hour.